Ugh. Why do we have to stay at the south of the border and motor in instead of continuing our drive? Well, Ginger, the reason why we are doing that along with other south of the border stuff that we are planning to do because it is too dark and dangerous for us to drive our cars on backcountry roads at night. We can get into a bad accident if doing so. And that means, Ginger, we have Pedroland Park, Sombrero Tower, and Reptile Lagoon to go to after we eat dinner at the Sombrero Restaurant, and we get to choose the entree just by rolling the dice that I brought with me. <laughs> Attention everyone. Yes. 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 You'll miss perfect one to hear from us? Glitter Girl. Our stomach's growling, meaning that we have to stop what we are doing and head to the Sombrero Restaurant for dinner. After that, we'll enjoy ourselves. I will take the dice with me so you guys and girls can roll it to select. When Angela, Tom, and their friends arrived at the Sombrero Restaurant for dinner. Okay guys, I got the dice out. Now start rolling on what beverage on what you guys like. I'll go first. Two. I got iced tea. Tom, you go next. Okay, Angela. Six. Wow. I got cranberry juice like in the Savage Ubi cranberry juice video on YouTube. Wait until you see it. I talked with Mrs. Ramirez at Vion High School before they changed their name to Tesla about cranberry juice diets. Ben, you go next. Okay, Tom. Four. I got Sprite because it is the clear soft drink and I believe it is see-through. Bodhi, it is your turn. Okay. 3. I got Diet Coke. Hoo hoo. Becca, would you like to try it? No cheating. Okay. Here goes Little Miss Perfect. Wow. Normal Coke. Hank. Your turn. Here I go. 5. I got water. Which is a good thing. Ginger, do you want to have a turn? I thought you'd never ask. Here goes nothing. Good news. I got 4. Which means I get the sprite like Ben got. And this final drink roll goes to you, Dharma. Okay. 2. Us tea it is then. Later, after everyone ate dinner and dessert. Pedro Land Park boasts an assortment of fun rides just for the kids. Some of these include the Carousel, Hang Ten, which is the mini Himalaya, antique cars, red baron airplanes, bouncy houses, and bumper cars. There's also a playground area with a huge jungle gym with sliding boards for the little ones. Pedro Land Park features two championship miniature golf courses with 18 holes each. There is a covered picnic area so guests can take a break out of the sun. Little Miss Perfect wants to go on Pedro's Railroad. Me wanna go on the carousel by myself. I want to go on the Hang 10 also known as the Mini Himalaya. I want to do antique cars. How about you, Angela? Yeah, Bodhi, fine with me. Me, Ben, and Tom want to ride the Red Baron airplanes and do the bumper cars. After I ride the carousel. Can I go in the bouncy houses? Sure thing, Ginger. After you do all these, we can rotate and go straight to the observation tower if we'd like. After they did all this, including the rector balloon, they left and hit the road the next day. Here is Tom and Angela on Interstate 95. Well, we are leaving south of the border after a night there. It went swell. Indeed, Tom. I agree with Ben. I agree with Ben too. Good. Ben, pull out the map to see where we are going. Hank, pull out the directions from Google that you printed out in your binder to tell me where to go. Ginger, keep yourself entertained and keep your cool. Don't lose it. Good. We are all set. Tom can wait until I pass him then he can move. I got the directions. We checked out at 9.15am so we can relieve ourselves from all that south of the border stuff we did recently. Estimated driving time. 6 hours and 8 minutes. Estimated arrival time. 3.33 p.m. Turn right and then merge onto Interstate 95 North towards Fayetteville. Want to hear a story that happened on April 23rd, 2020 during the pandemic of the coronavirus? I sure don't think. Why not? Okay. So, we got up and we got ready for school. Ginger already left, so we went to the bus stop and the bus picked us up and took us to school. 
After that, we went to home room 11 minutes later, we all went to first period. Since the day landed on a Friday, which is good, our class had to do a spelling test with the spelling words of this week, I knew them all. Then on second period, we went to music class. Well, I knew the meme to be continued. I played it for all to hear. Oh wow! Fabulous! Something was going on so we went back to class. I didn't like that at all. Then we went to nutrition. Riff liked nutrition the best. How? Because he had breakfast each time like McDonald's started the all-day breakfast program. I loved it. How about you? I like it. So do I. I like that too. Me too. When we have finished eating, we went outside of the cafeteria to talk about the upcoming Secaucus to the Meadowlands run coming up at the end of the month. Then on third period, Mrs. Absakin told us to go to the restroom to brush our teeth. When we got to class, we had free time. We talked more about the upcoming Secaucus to the Meadowlands run, like how long the run takes and so on. After that, we did mystery pictures and hidden pictures. We do the pictures every Friday during the week. After that, we went to lunch. When we have finished eating, I got out the flyers for the upcoming Secaucus to the Meadowlands run. I was looking for Maxine, but I couldn't find her. I just wanted to tell her about the Meadowlands 5k walk and run marathon. And what did you do instead when I gave my friends at lunch the Secaucus to Meadowlands 5k run and walk marathon flyers? I hung out with Ella and Jershwin for a while. On our way to the blacktop along with Ubeka, we found tennis rackets next to the waste management trash cans, so we decided to take them. When Theo came to us, we told them we found tennis rackets. Then what did you, me, Ella, and Gershwin do next? When Maxine finally came to us, Gershwin told Theo to hit me and you with a tennis racket at the same time. Maxine did not like that. So Maxine hit Theo with a tennis racket so hard he started to bleed a little. Ouch. Later on, it was time to get ready for physical education. While we are about to run to the big track, Ms. Kenley took you Becker, me, Jeshwin, Theo, and Ella to Ms. Absakin's classroom for a talk about the incident that happened during lunch. And then what happened? Well Bodhi, I started to think that we're going to get in trouble for what we did during lunch. When we got to the classroom, Maxine was already in the classroom crying. Then we told Ms. Absakin that Ella and Jershwin told Theo to hit me and Becca with a tennis racket at the same time and Maxine hit Theo with a tennis racket. Then Ms. Absakin told us where did we get the tennis rackets from. We told her we found them next to the waste management garbage cans on the way to the blacktop. Then Ms. Absakin punished us by not having free time during sixth period and not to leave the cafeteria during nutrition and lunch for a week starting Monday. Well did you lose your gizmos and end up in dependency court for what you did? No I didn't, Dharma. Then Ms. Absakin told me, Becca, Erla, Jeshwin, and Theo to go back to physical education. After that, it's time to change back into our regular clothes. When we got back to the classroom, everyone else had free time but the six of us. We just sat at our desks and did nothing but talk about the upcoming Secaucus to Meadowlands 5k run and walk marathon that is coming next weekend. Then it was time to go home. Becca didn't get punished by having no gizmos for what we did recently. But my parents let me off the hook from my punishment grounding which includes no hanging out, no gizmos, and anything else in my wants, needs, and interests. You did that, Becca. When I returned home from school, you, Bodhi, were jealous at me for the recent incident that happened with the tennis rackets. That was mean and we hope the incident will not happen again in the future. Even when the 5k is coming up. I then had the rest of my day to myself by participating in a club aqua exclusive flight in one of the aqua airways based airports on Roblox. A while later, Maxine called me on my office landline phone and her parents grounded her for the weekend. She was also crying. I did not get grounded for what I did at school, especially Becca. I told all the players in the Roblox server about what I did at school. They responded in the chat box. Bus driver 5YT said, I'm sorry, I hope your days get better. Maxine called me too. She said that I was not her accomplice and I should take incidents very seriously from Ms. Absecum. I joined the Aqua Airways Roblox server for my club Aqua exclusive premium flight with you, Angela. I joined you too, I was the gate agent in the server.
I told them about what Angela and Becca did and bus driver 5YT, Andre Dog Gamer, AJ380787, and other players responded with, I'm sorry, I hope your days get better. I'll help you sort it out. And more. Wow. Do you play Roblox all the time? If you join groups, me, Becca, Dharma, Tom, Ginger, Hank, and Ben will all join you in group games. We later signed up for the Secaucus to Meadowlands 5k run and walk marathon online. We then got our bibs, rode the bus to the starting line, ran four and a half miles, finished the rest with walking, got our medals, did other fun stuff, and did other things. How about we pull off on exit 73 and done? North Carolina so we can eat at Taco Bell for lunch, and that is on US Route 421 and North Carolina State Route 55. I'll make sure to not upset my stomach so I won't get diarrhea like yesterday. Good. I'll text Ben to tell Tom we are pulling into Dunn, North Carolina for lunch at Taco Bell on US Route 421 and North Carolina State Route 55. That way they'll know where they are going and following us now. Good idea, Becca. I'll pick up the tab for the eight of us. End of part four. Stay tuned for part five for the entry into the state of Virginia and a fun stop at Natural Bridge for Angela and her friends.